Lewa Wildlife Conservancy is one of the few places left on this planet where wildlife roams free. Today, Lewa's landscape and model represents the golden standard in wildlife conservation in Kenya and beyond. Lewa has partnered with other stakeholders in the area to create safer sanctuaries for Kenya's wildlife species playing host to 13% of critically endangered rhino and 11% of gravy zebra and other free-roaming wildlife. By using conservation as a development strategy, Lewa has achieved great success in improving stability and resilience in communities, attracting investors and jobs, incrementally addressing poverty in the area. Hiya! Supporting education for both children and adults, healthcare, access to water, agroforestry, sustainable agriculture, women's microenterprise, and many other opportunities. Lewa's pioneering model has given rise to many conservation organizations in the region, massively scaling up the ability of communities to derive direct benefit from conservation and enhance self-sustainability. Lewa works with its tourism partners to create an everlasting and beneficial experience for all visitors to Lewa. Exclusive experiences stunning landscapes are just another step further in promoting and encouraging further investment in the region. Lewa's tourism model sustainably strengthens the organization's ability to attract local and global visitors, providing the perfect setting for tourists from all over the world to experience some of this magic in one of the most pristine landscapes in Africa. This is the story of Lewa the drumbeat of conservation in Kenya. Everyday local heroes whose dedication is successfully changing the narrative, protecting Kenya's national heritage and developing rural communities, perpetually securing the future for generations to come. Here are some of their stories of Lewa's team and the transformation of lives through community integrated conservation. Lewa's vision has inspired a generation of Kenyans dedicated to transformation and limitless possibilities. Meet Nanyuki, winner of the 2019 Paradise African Ranger Award, local hero, Lewa NPR officer, renowned tracker, and former poacher. Mimi Manyoe. Lianza kuinda 1997. kuinda kwanza Na mimi ni mtu nilikuwa nakuwa napika ndugu nane kwa kwa kwa, kwa pundi kumoja kwa, kwa ikiwa tu nasimama pa 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 yote nane nakuwa kwa hiyo mimi ya maoni yangu kwa maoni yangu heri mtu hata akosa chakula na wacha mnyama aende bila kuangusha kwa maana tawisa angusha mnyama mmoja na naleta Kenya milioni ya pesa mimi kusikia mali na napika wanyama mimi naenda huko naenda kutafuta wale watu kwa siri tu natafuta 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 mpaka napata mmoja au napata mbili tawaongelesha hawa Lewa is a catalyst for wildlife conservation with a unique people-based model, enabling rural Kenyan communities around the Conservancy to become increasingly self-sustaining and empowered whilst directly benefiting from conservation. My name is Geoffrey Chege. I work for Lewa Wildlife Conservancy as a head of wildlife and conservation. Our work started more than 30 years ago and it has ensured that we have got thriving habitats that have given forth to thriving populations of wildlife. We mainly focus on the endangered species, of which as of today, we have got several of them. We have got both the black and white rhino. About 14% of that popula the Kenyan population is found here. We have got about 11% of the global population of gravy zebra. We have got several giraffes that are also endangered, buffaloes, plain zebras, elands, and a plethora of other large carnivores. 
My name is John Kenoti. I'm the Community Development Manager for Lewa Wildlife Conservancy. And basically in the Lewa's Community Development Program, we are engaging our communities that live around Lewa Wildlife Conservancy in various development initiatives. Agriculture is one of the major economic activities. We also have a community health care program. You know, uh, and this is a program that uh, we've been working very closely with government and also moving into areas that have never seen healthcare programs within uh, you know, the, the landscape. And uh, we believe that uh, health is wealth. But in Lewa's program, we are going beyond you know, doing just health, knowing it is wealth, but we're also working with people without wealth so that actually they can have basic health care in the last mile, so to speak, so that actually people can actually, you know, have the basic health care, you know, provided to them. And, uh, and uh, having a healthy society will allow us to continue, you know, to uh, discuss the issues of conservation. The digital program has been a winner in the sense that where we don't have enough teachers, the government has worked hard at providing teachers, has worked hard at providing uh, books, but at the same time there's always a gap. So our digital team has gone ahead and put the, digital, the curriculum in digital and provided through the spectrum boards. Children are able to go into the classrooms with or without a teacher use them, but also the teachers are ahead of the game. Remember, if you live behind the teachers, the children move faster than them. So we have trained the teachers, we have trained the head teachers, but the children are what is the game changer here? Because one, they have access to the curriculum, two, they have access to the content, and three, the children can at any particular time walk into class read, revise what the teachers have taught them, go through questions. Now how is this changing or how does this make a difference with our children? Um, our children don't have that extra revision book that your child has out there. Our children don't have extra uh, story books that the children are, your children have there. And this is an access for them to have access to content and exposure. Our children are also becoming um, uh, exposed to, 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 to digital content but again, we control what information the children have. Lewa security model comprises six radio communications operators, 37 gate and night guards, 27 rhino monitors, 24 fencers, 35 armed security rangers, and five dog handlers, successfully protecting an abundance of wildlife species and offering additional support to the communities working with Lewa, maintaining strong, collaborative partnerships with both private and public stakeholders in the region. Our role especially is to make sure that uh, we don't uh, lose our endangered animal. Every day today work is to make sure that our animals are safe. We have guys who patrol in every weather, when it is raining, when it is very sunny, and uh, we do our work 24-7. We know very well that uh, without our dedication, we cannot uh, have all those animals secured, and uh, all those animals need uh, uh, commitment. And uh, in 20th century, there's a danger because, you know, in Kenya and all over the world, we have a challenge of uh, secure habitat. There's a big demand of their trophies. And uh, we can see that if efforts are not done by people who are dedicated, and also if you don't get the light support that we normally get from the community, and the government, our animal will die, will, uh, will, will die. and uh, we have done very well for the last uh, seven years. And uh, you know we have been able to eliminate or to minimize the level of threat that we have had here in Lewa. We have not lost a lot of rhinos for the last seven years. We only lost two rhinos, and uh, with the effort that uh, we have, be it uh, dogs, modern technologies, working very close with the partners. Uh, government agencies, and the most important one is the community, because you, if you have the goodwill from the community, you can win this war. Francis Kobia has worked for 22 years studying wildlife behavior and movement. His story is a real-life story of the unique marriage of indigenous knowledge, modern science and technology in wildlife conservation and management in Kenya. Creating wildlife corridors to minimize human-wildlife conflict Design specific mitigation measures to help people coexist with animals peacefully is what Lewa is pioneering. Na hile technology tumetengeneza kwa sababu pia likuwa tumitaji hawa wanyama vile tumewapea ifadhi pia wasisumbue wala community wako 
karibu na sisi kwa sababu pia tunahitaji pia waelewe umuhimu wa kuchunga huyu mnyama so tuliweka huwa wa fence wa moto hiyo electric fence na pia kuwapea access waweze kuwao wakitoka Samburu wanapata mahali ya kupenya kuingia lewa na pia wakitoka lewa pia wanapata nafasi ya kuingia uh, pale Mount Kenya The creation of harmony between wildlife and communities living adjacent to wildlife, effective management of resources, access to basic social amenities such as affordable healthcare, education, microenterprise, employment and a plethora of other programs continuously diversify the development opportunities in the region. Communities understand the tangible value of conservation, with each one playing their role in inspiring the next generation of informed Kenyan conservationists. Na uhusiano wetu mzuri pia watu ya Manyangalo wamejua kuhifadhi wanyama. Hakuna hata siku moja imewahi kuripotiwa watu ya Manyangalo emegusa wanyama. Na vile ambavyo sehemu mwingine tunasikia wanyama wanafanywa hivi hapa hawezi kusikia historia kama hiyo. Na watoto wakisaliwa basi wanajua hawa hii wanyama ndio wameweka hapa. Incremental investments through a holistic approach has massively scaled up direct conservation benefits trickling down to communities. Our stories have and continue to inspire many special people around the world, creating connectivity and resonance in the unlikeliest of places. What started as an invite to run the Lewis Safari Marathon in 2016 turned into a friendship between two local Kenyan heroes from halfway across the country from each other bound together in a common goal to change the very mentality of Kenyans towards the value of wildlife, environment and community conservation in Kenya. And how, even in the smallest way, each one of us can make a difference. How a runner and a ranger found a brotherhood. Uh, my first introduction at Leo I actually was uh, I can say it was it was wonderful. Yeah. I got to know Leo by I think one of the people who are working there living in America then the connection to Safaricom and then I was invited to to participate in Lewa marathon whereby I really participated and ran the whole half marathon uh, and above all uh, uh, in the afternoon I got to know Lewa and go around all the Lewa uh, with, with uh, with one of with Edward, one of the security guys there and uh, I was so clearly attracted by how how people are taking care of the animals how the management of lewa are actually conserving the environment how the management of lewa actually are really uh, uh, taking care of the communities around through education and health and even helping them actually to have lived their lives I first met Kip Edward Kipchoge in 2016 when he came to launch the Lewa, Lewa Marathon and uh, from there we became friends and uh, we came to realize that uh, we have some things in common because we, we were sharing how important it is to be dedicated and uh, to work hard and uh, Edward Kipchoge being our ambassador it has shown that uh, he is also dedicated to wildlife and also he likes rangers. I work to how, what we do to protect our wildlife and what Kipchoge does whenever he is learning is dedication because you know he has shown us that uh, there is no human who is limited. Actually, I was touched by, to, <coughs> by what he is doing. I was touched by what uh, his, uh, his people were, by his leading is doing. Uh, uh, I was touched by the dedication of actually taking care of the animals. I was touched by, by his actually, uh, uh, his dedicating his time actually I, I, he's not sleeping like any other human being. He's, uh, he can sleep for four hours, whereby most of us we are sleeping for more than four hours, uh, considering that uh, taking care of those animals. So it's actually when you, when you go back and think that there is somebody who is actually uh, somewhere uh, taking care of the animals and is not even sleeping for the future of Kenya and for the future of our children, it's really touching. Lewa envisions a world where communities derive direct benefit from wildlife conservation. We hope for a Kenya where Kenyans support the conservation of wildlife 
and the upliftment of rural communities through this support. A Kenya for Kenyans. Uh, my message actually is to plead to the whole people to, to support uh, Lewa Conservancy. This, uh, this is a purely a Kenyan conser uh, conservancy. It's a, it's a very good conservancy. It, uh, it takes care of our environment, our animals. It's actually uh, uplifting lives of our, of our people living uh, in Lewa uh, through health and through education. And a powerful level from uh, those who are living in Lewa to actually become ent uh, entrepreneurs. And above all, if you see that uh, those who are taking care of the animals are really clean and they are different from the other people who are actually conserving the environment. So together, let us uh, uh, make clever and uplift clever. And remember, no human is limited.